So in this video, we will be painting up Boromir from the, he's actually from the Mines of Moria box set. Now I have sprayed him first with a black primer and then done a zenithal highlight on um, of the Wraithbone contrast primer. And a zenithal highlight is basically just, you know, you, you prime him black first and then you hold him kind of like this and spray him from above with um, the contrast paints so that you get these smaller, darker areas. And this is actually the first time I'm doing that, but hopefully the thin contrast paints are gonna be like darker here in the shadows and lighter on the top where the light would hit the miniature. Um, so the first paint we're gonna be using is Black Templar, and that's gonna be for his um, outer robe. And with the black now complete, I have done my best to avoid that line right there on the rope and there's also one here on the back and also the middle parts here and here i'm going to leave as well as his sleeves because that's the next part we're going to tackle um, and that's going to be this red fabric and for that i'm going to be using a flesh terrace red and with that Flesh Terrace Red complete on his cloak, and I also popped it onto his shield, and just in the crevice back there. Um, you don't have to be too neat on the shield because we're gonna paint this up in metallic colors. Uh, so the next part is gonna be tackling his leather bits, which is gonna be his belt and this strap thingy, as well as his, um, his arm guards um, right there. And for that, we're gonna be using um, snake bite leather. Scratch that, we're gonna be using Wildwood. And with the Wildwood applied, we went through the back of the shield, his belt, his arm guard, his boots, and I also decided to do the sword hilt on the back just to keep it simple. And the next part we're gonna be painting is his face and his arms, uh, which is gonna be with Goleman Flesh. And with the Goleman Flesh applied to his face and his hands, we can see that this character is starting to become alive. And then we are gonna go for the hair and the um, the beard, which is gonna be with Griff Hound Orange. And with this beard and hair covered in orange, it is time to tackle the straps we have on the cloak now that the red and black have dried. And for that, we're gonna be using um, Dark Angel Screen, which is a very dark green color. And with that lining done, it is now time to move on to the first non-contrast paint, which is Lead Belcher. Just a basic silver for the um, rims of the shield, for his sword and for the um, chainmail that he got uh, right there. He just painted the sword and the nubbin right there in the shield. Now the, um, the edges of the shield and the weapon handle are going to be painted in Retributor armor. And with the gold details complete on the uh, sword hilt, the rim of the shield, and also on the um, the small etchings on the horn, we are almost done. And we're now going to be painting the horn in a matte white. Just the very tops of it to highlight it. And now with the white highlight on the horn complete, we are ready for the final step, which is to apply a um, a known oil shade to all the gold and silver details. And this is the final model complete. All that's left to do now is base him and he is ready for battle. Now the light's kind of playing a trick here. The cloak is actually darker in reality, but it's just a very white light I have. Um, so yeah, that's a quick and easy paint scheme for Boromir using primarily contrast paint. And here we have the model completed, based and everything. Now I decided to make him with a snowy base and I put some snow um, on top of him as well to go, kind of make it look like he's fighting in a in a blizzard. And I got the idea from watching um, the, um, the first Lord of the Rings movie, The Fellowship of the Ring. And there's this scene where the Fellowship walks through this heavy snowed mountain pass just before they decide to go into Moria. And I actually thought I would paint up my fellowship in that scheme. I know that there's not really any fighting up there and he's in a fighting pose, but I still think it's just a, 
it's it's going to provide a great look to the fellowship i think to have them all like walking in this snowy landscape and just have a bit of snow um on them as well uh, so yeah i just used van Halen blizzard for this um effect and painted the the base uh black and uh that's it then the model is done very fast uh scheme it i think it took like 15 minutes maybe um 15 20 minutes um but i think the results are um, really good so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and if you do just uh, hit the notification uh, bell subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and hopefully i'll see you next time cheers